So it's that time of the month again. It is time for monthly favorites. Yay! I can tell you about all my favorite things for the month of February. Starting with my birthday because my birthday is, or by the time you see this was, the end of February. Yay! <laughs> all right. So getting into my favorites, I'm going to start with the Tartlet palette. Yay! All right. So this palette is really just... It's all mattes. It's beautiful. I've already done a full-blown review on it, so I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but it is beautiful. This has been my go-to, like, everyday palette. When I don't feel like wearing a whole bunch of makeup, I can just slap some on real quick, and I'm good to go. So I really like this palette. My next favorite is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I've only got the little tiny deluxe size sample version because I wanted to try it before I bought the whole tube because it's expensive. It really is. But I love this and I will be buying a full size because this does magic, magic to my eyelashes. You don't even need falsies because this stuff is amazing. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on, another Too Faced product because you know that Too Faced is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite high-end brands. And I also have a deluxe size sample of the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. And I also have this in a palette that I just hauled. So this isn't the only one that I have, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It goes on really nicely. Um, the Milk Chocolate would probably be a little bit better for me because I'm a little heavier handed. And the Milk Chocolate, I have a feeling, wouldn't go like dark, bam, as quick as the milk chocolate or the regular chocolate soleil does but this is still awesome so long as i use a light hand with it and i go very slowly and very carefully this is beautiful and i really love the color that this gives my skin and it smells like chocolate i wish all my makeup smelled like chocolate then i'd really be motivated to do my makeup all the time Instead of getting lazy about it and be like, I don't feel like it today. Which was pretty much half of last week. <laughs> so my next favorite I will do is the Remel Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. I love kiss proof lip colors. I like liquid lipsticks that dry onto your lips so that when you kiss, they don't show up. So I really like these type just because they stay and I like never have to touch up. I put this on the other day and granted I was just like cleaning the house and stuff but I ate and I cleaned and hours and hours and hours later all I had to do was put on a little bit more of the clear side but the color was there. I had to take that stuff off with eye makeup remover because this stuff stays on like nobody's business. I love this. The color that I have been wearing is Kiss Fatale. Well, it says Kiss Fatal, but I'm calling it Kiss Fatale because it makes more sense. <laughs> Can you tell I'm like really hyped up? I've had like three cups of coffee. No joke. Three cups of coffee. Yeah. For the girl who like never drinks caffeine. I'm like, yay! Okay. <laughs> So my next favorite, this has been a favorite of mine for years, years and years and years. And it is the Bare Minerals, Bare Essentials, it is their like pigment in Queen Phyllis. I don't know if you can see this. It doesn't look like all that much in the pan, but this is a gorgeous highlight for the inner tear duct or the eyebrows if or the brow bone if you want a super intense highlight I love using this with like a black and gray smoky eye I know it's crazy but I mean look at this it is so bright and beautiful and I'm gonna put a little bit more on just so you can get the full amount of intensity it is just, it is such a beautiful color, and it is kind of a gold champagne color. So that is a major, major favorite of mine. Like I said, it has been for years. This is my go-to inner corner highlight. It's beautiful. The next one is a new favorite discovered in February, and that is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 
uh, eyeshadow in Iced Latte. This one I just put in a haul recently, but that haul was kind of collective. I have had this for a few weeks. But this, this is intense. It's intense. Then we're just going to take a little bit off the little stopper thingy here. Like, do you see that? Do, do you see that shiny goodness there? That is the highlight I use when I want high beams and not highlights. Because this seriously, this is a high beam color. It, this stuff shines so bright. So bright. It is gorgeous. I love it. I have heard that it is a dupe for Stila's Kitten. And I have to agree, if there is a dupe out there for it, this is probably the best one out there because it is so bright. So I thought I would share those two with you. You got one high end, one low end. They're both beautiful. I recommend both of them. It, they're just, I love them. I love them. Alright, so my last two favorite items for the month of January. They are things I have been using for quite a while now. And I wanted to include them because I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products. Neither of them are actually makeup. One is skincare, one is hair care. But I figure, hey, may as well include them. What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> so this one is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. This is a face mask. It is intense. So this is a deep pore cleansing mask. It is extremely extremely intense this it hardens you know it goes on green turns kind of like a light green gray color it is kind of like most of the kind of clay mask this one is hundred percent natural calcium bentonite clay this stuff is intense it pulls everything out of your pores so like if you have a pimple that has not yet surfaced it might surface after you use this but it also means that it might heal faster as well this pulls out everything and when you're pulling all that stuff out of your pores it tends to make your pores be able to reduce in size a bit my face after I use this looks like I have a sunburn for about 30 minutes this is great for men as well I've actually got a few of the guys that I know using this or wanting to use this just because it pours out, pulls out that gunk out of their pores. It also helps so that they're not getting as many ingrown hairs when they are shaving, which is totally awesome. So if you know some guys that need help with that, try this. If you have sensitive skin, you only want to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I have semi-sensitive skin, but it's oily and... I leave it on for about 20. Like I said, I look sunburnt for about 20, 30 minutes afterwards, but it's not a big deal. I just make sure I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you have dry skin, I have heard that this actually does not dry out your skin that bad. So it actually works with dry skin as well as oily combination skin. So that's awesome because this means it's great for all skin types. All right. The last product I have to talk about is hair. And this is the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Yep. It is amazing. Now, you're basically supposed to put this on kind of like a hair mask, leave it on for like 5-10 minutes, whatnot. Um, I use this as my actual conditioner. Now, granted, I do not wash my hair every single day. I only wash it twice a week because the pink would wash out and I don't like stripping my hair like that with the processing of bleach and dye and doing all that kind of stuff I try to take the best care of my hair that I can so on days that I'm not washing my hair I use dry shampoo but when I do wash my hair I use this as my conditioner so I wash my hair as normal and then instead of putting in regular conditioner I put this in my hair and then I just clip it up do all the rest of the stuff I gotta do in the shower and wash it out my hair is deceptively soft because of this product this is amazing. This is my second tub of this. I bought one a couple years ago and I loved it and I stopped using it for some reason. But recently I started doing it again and it has just brought the life back into my hair. It is so soft. This is just, it is amazing. 
Alright, so now that I've totally talked to you in a fast pace and gone through everything that was my favorites for February. Yeah! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Back to normal. Alright, so those are my favorites for the month of February. I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your absolute favorite product of February was. Maybe I'll check it out. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye! Itch. And some lipsticks. Really? Alright, so the next one is the Amazon... <clears throat> Am I in focus? I don't feel like I'm in focus. Loki! Stop it! Focus camera. Focus. Focus.